I can see uh, new melodies or something. I don't know. That's a bit cheesy. <laughs> So recently I've started uh, living a little bit more by routine, so I get up around 8.30 and either do a workout or just walk uh, in the forest for 20 minutes. I live next to the forest, so that helps. Uh, and then take a shower, a breakfast, and hit the studio about at 9.30ish, usually. Uh, obviously turn on the computer and then automatically launch Cubase. Uh, no emails, I save that for later in the day, so straight into Cubase, make music. That's it. Um, when I start making music, I'm, I don't always start in the studio. Sometimes I uh, start at the piano in my living room, uh, just to come up with a nice theme or melody, because uh, yeah, I just, there's no uh, feel like a proper piano with properly weighted keys that you know gets me going usually and come up with a great uh, great melody and then as soon as I have that I go back into the studio and then put it into my DAW and uh, yeah start going from there. Uh, I think it's very uh, important to uh, keep up with all the trends you know new uh, new VSTs new instruments um, new techniques so I, I watch a lot of YouTube tutorials on genres that I don't produce just to learn something new that I might be able to implement into my own productions. Uh, I read uh, uh, Computer Music Magazine which uh, is, uh, yeah, specializes in, in making music on your computer which is obviously what I'm doing. Uh, just yeah, talk to friends about, you know, we have WhatsApp groups about music production as well so you know keep up with all the trends. Uh, that's a good question. I, uh, I usually decide afterwards, but uh, sometimes I already have an idea in mind that I want to go for something uh, along the lines of M6. Uh, but usually I think it's better to decide afterwards because, you know, when you start a track you might have an idea, but the outcome is usually slightly different or a lot different than what you started with. Uh, M6 is definitely um, always trancy. Mark VI Mark can be, but it, it's a bit more diverse, so uh, I like to experiment a lot with Mark VI Mark. Uh, different BPMs, different genres, uh, and M6 is, is uh, trends. You know, it can be like uplifting trends, a little bit size sometimes, or even progressive, but it's, it's always trends. It's only a dream. Ah, I think it will be a double knockout. Uh, I, don't, I don't think uh, one or the other would win. Uh, they're both equally part of my music and they're both equally passionate. Uh, so yeah, double knockout. Uh, I think my favorite track I ever produced was uh, Mark VI, My Requiem, uh, because it was a combination of uh, styles. I, it's, it's trance, uh, but it's also, you know, has influences of Big Room in there. Uh, it has some classical music in there. It's, it's just the things, all the different elements I liked at that point. I still like at this moment, so uh, yeah, it was something totally new, something that wasn't really there, and you know, it, it kind of was one of the tracks to, to start that new movement uh, that really, you know, uh, helped me get far in my career as well, uh, opened a lot of doors, and I'm still really proud of that one. It's only a dream. Ooh, that's a good question. Actually, I haven't really been listening to a lot of music recently, uh, just a lot of classical music, so. If you uh, listen to dance music but want to hear something totally different, go check out, uh, let's say, uh, some Preludes by Chopin. Something totally different. So last year I released uh, Elements Part 2. Uh, part 1 was released a couple of years ago. Uh, element was fire, this time it's water, so uh, hence the title track Aqua. Um, I just wanted to really show the different faces of trance, you know, I wanted to start uh, progressive with, uh, with Aqua, the opening track at 126 BPM, and then slowly build it up, uh, like through techie, uplifting, some psi influences, just, you know, show all the different 
phases of trance music, uh, that, you know, which is why I fell in love with the genre in the first place. Uh, yeah, that's the journey I wanted to take you guys on. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to have worked with uh, Darren Styles on, uh, yeah, on a track which is, uh, I think is described as UK hardcore, combined with some big room and some, you know, trans melodies as well. Uh, I was just in the studio having fun with, uh, with a vocal uh, that I really loved, uh, but it was high BPM, so I, you know, uh, I couldn't do a proper trans track with that, it wouldn't fit. So I just uh, experimented a bit, came up with something uh, hard stylish, uh, hard dance like, and I thought, you know, who could really uh, help me bring this to life? You know, who really knows this uh, this genre well? And uh, Darren Styles is the first name that uh, popped into my mind uh, because uh, you know, I love his music as well. Um, and reached out to him, and uh, luckily enough, he was uh, happy to uh, collab on it. And uh, you guys will hear it very soon. Faith, the legend of the scarab. Ooh, a dream collab. That's a great question. Um, I don't know, I really like what, uh, what David Guetta and Morton are doing with the Future Rave. Uh, perhaps we could make it like a Future Trance thing, uh, where we combine some of the trance elements with uh, you know, that, that, that nice groove they have going. That would be a cool collab, for sure. Like superheroes. Thinking about Tomorrowland, obviously, uh, a state of trance. Uh, but I, I would say I never played Tomorrowland. I only played Tomorrow World, the, the US edition. So it's definitely on my bucket list. Uh, a state of trance is also, you know, of course, one of my favorite festivals. I was actually lucky enough to to play it uh, in uh, in Amsterdam during uh, well the two weeks that we opened again in Holland. So I was really happy to play that show. It was amazing. So really looking forward to. Uh, more of those. Do I have a sixth sense? Um, yeah, I, I guess so. Maybe for like, uh, I can see uh, new melodies or something. I don't know. That's a bit cheesy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I guess I have, you know, when I, when I get an idea for a melody or something, I can I turn it into a crack turn it into a track rather quickly. Uh, I come up with the, the whole concept, everything, just... Uh, I can already, like, let's see, let's say I can see where a track should go before actually going there. I don't know, <laughs> just making stuff up. <laughs> 